Hi and welcome back to another video. Today I find myself in the heart of Kwabenya where a good friend of mine has put up uh, his building. So he's almost done with everything and yet to move in. So I wanted to take the chance to have a quick tour, ask him some few questions about the build, the cost and so on. So without not talking further, let's just go ahead and then get started. So I have with me here, um, Africa Building Hub, the famous Africa Building <laughs> Hub, where you've been seeing a lot of his uh, building projects as well as other tips on buildings on his YouTube channel. Did I decide to come by to have a look at his building, which he's almost done and he's yet to move in. So I will, I'm actually one of the first people to yeah. come see it, right? So, um, Africa Building Hub, you're welcome. Thank you, thank and you, thank you. It's, it's a nice. pleasure to be on your channel. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice meeting you again. Um, so, before we get into details of this build, I first of all want to know which location do we find ourselves in. Okay, so this is Kwabenya. Oh, I see. So then Kwabenya. Okay. And what? East Municipality. Oh, okay. Yeah. What size of land is this building? Set so, on? it's a 100 by 70 plot. And the building sits on half of, of the it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's enough space. If you look over there, there's enough space yeah. for a garden or even a second house. If, oh, I yeah. see. Anyway, so before we get inside and look at what has been done inside and the rest, um, I would want to know how your building journey started. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's a really good question. So I believe everybody who has been following my journey knows I purchased this house as an uncompleted building, right? So... Um, you show pictures to sure, the audience, sure, yes. right. and this what it looked like when I purchased it, and it was nothing to write home about. If you look at the nature of the soil, it was all rocks and stuff. But then I thought I could make something beautiful out of it, especially considering that getting land in Accra is very difficult. Mm -hmm. So identifying a land that somebody had been able to build on, and the person was building for himself, right? So. I could see the quality that had gone into it. The iron rods were sticking out and everything. So I could tell the thickness, the size, and yeah. know, the type of iron rods which were used. I felt it was good. I purchased it for about 200,000 CDs okay. back then in 2020. Oh, right? okay. So that would be like $30,000, almost $40,000. Yeah. yeah. And then since then, so today I've been working on it. I had a vision to complete it in one year, but, <laughs> you know, building in Ghana is not easy. Oh, wow. Right? So I've been working on it for the past three years, and that's where we are. We are almost done. But wow. because of my personal creative taste, I want to do certain touches before I move in. I see. That's, that's, that's good to know. So as you mentioned, yeah, you purchased an uncompleted building. Yeah. Was it really the building you wanted, or was basically the land you were after? Or it, was it was both, right? So, one, the building, because the person had already started. And it gave me, you know, the confidence that if I purchase it, I'm not going to have litigation issues. Because I was coming straight out of a litigation on another land I purchased in the same area. Oh. You understand? And so, if the person had been able to build a whole, you know, story, one story, yeah, yeah. then it means that there's no litigation. Yeah. And since I started working on it, it's there hasn't right. been any litigation at one. And then the land also, at least the view from here, if you look around, yeah. you can see it's a bit on a hill. Yeah. And so you get a great view, especially when you're at the top, right? And I felt it's, it's good value for the money. At that time, it was a bit expensive, but I felt it's something I can, I can make something good out of. And I like the end product. Nice, nice. Okay, so I would like you to talk a bit about the external look of the bit i see natural stone yeah. clad in here and the uh, painting works and windows architecture and all that too if you could just say something something about that okay also. so i'm a very creative person right i like to have my personality in anything that i do and i feel that this building kind of represents my personality so i like nature 
And so that's why we have the natural stones. And any time I'm doing anything, I'm looking at the long-term durability of sure. the project. And natural stones can last you 20, 30 years, right. as opposed to doing the normal paint, painting, where every yeah. two, three years, you'd be repainting, right? Because yeah. I was building the house for myself. So I want to build something that will last. Sure. And then also, when you look at the paint, we are not doing the normal paint. Yeah. We, we use graffiato paint, which yeah. is more expensive, like two to three times right. more expensive. And again, it's because of the longevity. Sure. It, it lasts way longer than the normal paint. It provides better protection against the rains and the elements and things like that. So that's why I use the stones. I use the graffiato. And at the top, they also wanted the building to be a bit unique. I don't want it to be like everybody's mm. house. So if you look like the whole neighborhood, yeah, my house is different. Friend, yeah, that's true. You know, it stands out. Yeah, 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 that's true. Wow, that's good to know. What about the compound also? I see you have some concrete slabs here. Yes. Do you intend to plant grass in? Yes, yes, yes. I intend to plant grass in. So these are some of the finishing works. That's why I haven't moved in yet. Um, again, when you look at the start of the project, the land was just rocky yeah pure rocks Sorry, i'm yeah. sure you were here yeah, at that yeah, time yeah. and you couldn't come and park a car <laughs> you couldn't even park like you can't move <laughs> right. as far as we are today that's you true. understand and so due to the terrain and the nature of the slope one erosion yeah. those days when you come the land there's, the, there's a huge gutter here yeah and so i invested a lot of money into doing this compound slab the cement i used wasn't even 42.5 it was 52.5 okay throughout okay you know so i used quality materials to ensure that one is going to last like right. i say right. i'm looking for things that will last so i don't mind if it costs, costs me more. a lot yeah and then also the design i don't want it to be just like a concrete jungle yeah right because that's also contributing to some of the flooding and stuff that's so true. again a bit of nature yeah a bit of modern architecture right right so the grass once the grass is here i'm sure you come again you sure, will sure, be sure, so sure. beautiful right, right right that's 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 what i'm looking at okay so i think at this point you said a lot about the external part of the building maybe you can take a look inside and then you can tell us a little bit about it but before then uh how many rooms do you have in the ground floor and then the top floor too okay so on the ground floor i have two bedrooms three toilets three bathrooms oh, okay and then on the top floor we have three bedrooms three toilets three bathrooms oh okay but you have a living room but yes both i have floors. a living room at both places now the way i built it is such that if i do decide to sell it which i'm considering right selling <laughs> the property i see the person who purchases it would not have to struggle with if they want to if, like if you want a two-bedroom house you can be at the ground floor yeah. and sell the top or rent out to the, the top. top yeah Right. And many a times people build five bedroom houses and things like that. Their children move out then they have yeah. a big house, then, yeah, it's but they can't ma maintain. Yeah. Right. So you notice the staircase is outside. Right. So that the down and the top is completely separated. Yeah. So yeah. even if you purchase this house and you want to rent out the ground or the top, either way, you can't do that. Oh, OK. Yeah. That's so that's the thought the that idea. went into okay, it. That's, yeah. that's, that's brilliant. OK. Before we even enter, what was the space we have over here? Okay, so like I said, because I purchased an uncompleted building, the original person had his vision. Okay. And this area was just like a walkway. It wasn't anything. Oh. So I said, no, nah, it's just a waste of land yeah. space. And I, I really want to maximize the use of the land. Yeah. And so I created this place where you can sit, have yeah. friends around, play games, and always be indoors, have a good view yeah. of the area. You understand? And then we are going to do a pergola over here. Oh, okay. Top. Oh, wow, yeah, that so means there's, can, there's really more you intend oh, to yeah, do. Oh, yes, there's more to be done. So wow. once the pergola is done, you can sit here, you can play, the children can play and all that. Yeah. If you have friends, you don't always need to be inside. inside. That's you can true. sit here and enjoy the natural right. air and all that. Right. Yeah. I might say I actually like the views from yeah, here. Yeah, the view is just amazing. So just when, amazing. once you stand here, which, are the, where, where, which places are you able to see from here? Because it's a bit of like a hilly area, you can see as far as maybe Tantra. Okay. Right. You can see to the right as uh, the Pokwasi areas. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you you get a really good view of Accra, wow. and this is even on the ground floor. So you can even <laughs> from the top floor. The top floor. All right. Yeah. So like, now we can take a uh, walk inside. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. 
so which space do we find ourselves in now? So this place is going to be a two-in-one. So it's a living room, but where we are currently standing is going to be a dining space. Oh, okay. So you notice that the lights light over yeah. here, once the tables and the chairs come, it's going to be really beautiful. Then okay. you have your furniture over here. Then at the back, we we'll have the TV, TV units and all the mounts. We'll, we'll do some beautiful interior decoration. <laughs> the next time you can, you know, recognize the place. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I see. So, um, any idea what size of space this is? Yeah. So, this is like, uh, it's about a four by three. Okay. Four meters by, by three, three meters. meters. Yeah. Oh, okay. Space. And I think it's big enough to hold, you know, a family with kids yeah. and things like that have a good size dining area and once i once i do the interior decoration you see and we again we can't wait to see that yes yes yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay um so what ceiling do we have here so we did like um a pop ceiling like a pop right? okay yeah ceiling and we the design is to enable us have these led lights and inside so wow. it's able to create the kind of atmosphere that you want that you want so you can turn off the lights and just have the hidden led lights creating that kind of mood Ambience, yeah. or if you want more light you can turn on more light wow. depending on what you want and then like i said this beautiful you know and design lights, lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they are designer lights are uh, for the dining, dining area section. and again it creates a kind of mood you know yeah. it's black orange tones right really really nice right so i must ask why you chose to go with pop as against plasterboard is there any special reason no no special reason no special reason no. okay but so far how was the pop process was it a smooth one yeah, it was smooth it was expensive but <laughs> yeah everything about this house is expensive i see so doing this it cost me close to 20,000 CDs. For the CDs for the entire house? For the ground floor. Wow. Wow. I see. Okay. What about the tiles? What kind of tiles do we have in the background? Again, so these are wood finished type of tiles. Okay. Right. And again, these are not the ordinary tiles you see that people use for their houses. This one also cost me close to 30,000 for the ground floor. Ground floor. Okay. Yes. And even the sockets and the switches, we didn't buy the ordinary white ones that people use. <laughs> yeah, I see. So we, we put a lot of thought into it. I can see. Again, you, you get this kind of wooden vibe, yeah. you know, nature vibe, yeah. and then modern architecture vibe. Yeah. Yeah. That's the theme that we are using throughout the house. Oh, okay. What about the windows and then the uh, burglar proof? So yeah, so again, when I purchased the house, the windows were louver blades oh okay yeah so we removed all of them and then we did the glazing windows okay and then the burglar proofs oh i see yeah, so that it gives it a more modern feel yeah. than the louver blades yeah i see wow okay so maybe enough of the living room we can look at other spaces as well okay so from where where will be we, uh, we'll be stepping next all right so like I mentioned, this was the ground floor. So there isn't much you can do in terms of changing, changing. the design, right? Yeah. When I'm building, I don't like a lot of corridors and walkways. I feel oh. it's wasted space. Okay. But this is what we have. So we have this corridor which leads to the visitor's toilet okay. and bathroom. And again, you can see that doors are also different. Yeah. You know, very beautiful kind of doors. And over here too, we have the, the solar, system. solar system and you know, all this electrical space, okay. right? And we've put it up so that the kids yeah. can't interact with it, so that there's a bit of safety. And you helped me with the solar <laughs> installation, right? So, yeah, yeah. yeah this, this, this was also pretty expensive. I mean, you know a lot about that, right? right? Investing right. in solar is expensive, but I feel it's worth it. Currently, we are running off of solar, solar. Yeah. right? Yeah. But I've also made provision for the national grid, Great, okay. just in case, right? Okay. So again, there's going to be a washing machine right at this here, side here. So the outlet has already been created. Okay. Yeah. So this, the washroom, uh, the toilet, the bathroom, which space is this? This leads to the kitchen. Okay. So yeah. we can have a look at the kitchen. So again, when we purchased, it was all louver blades, but we've changed to glazing. Can and we have some lights here? Oh yeah, sure, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. You can have some lights. Okay. And 
again you would notice that we go for a lot of design kind of luxury type of lighting lighting is really important to me okay because i'm a creator a yeah. content creator you know lighting makes right. all the difference so yeah we have this traditional lantern lantern type of light right and then we have that the designed one which was in the dining Lighting area room, yeah, yeah. Okay. so that's and then again we have the pop at the so top then, and yeah. then in the kitchen because there's going to be oil and stuff like that we just tiled all the, the way walls. Okay. to the ceiling that must have been expensive super expensive <laughs> super 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 expensive i see well so this is uh, okay this is like for the um yeah what so, is going to be here there's going to be an induction cooker okay yes i'm all about trying to do something that in the long term i'm going to save money yeah currently where we live we are using gas cooker okay and i don't want to be a victim of shortage of any utility <laughs> or increase in utility <laughs> right that's why for the property there's a borehole yeah there's solar okay and then there's going to be induction cooker powered by the solar Oh, do you understand so whether right. there's gas shortage in the country i'm not affected <laughs> whether the government is in crisis and wants to increase the price of fuel and gas and things like yeah. that i'm not affected okay. so i'm building with the long term in mind so there's going to be an induction cooker 90 um, centimeters induction cooker over here and then a gas burner also electric okay yeah oh i see and the cabinet what kind of um okay what kind of uh, is it wood? Was yes, used so for this? this is laminated, laminated wood. wood. Yes, and they are soft clothes, so you just leave it and then it oh, closes by close. itself. Yeah, everything is okay. that way. Wow, so you don't hear a lot of banging, banging noises. <laughs> like what this. about the countertop? The countertop is made of quartz. Oh, okay. Yeah, we chose quartz instead of granite because one, it's replaceable easily. Right, so if there's any crack, you want to take away any portion, you can easily take it out. Yes, yes. and then case. bring it back, and nobody would notice anything. And it's cheaper also, so it's a cheaper alternative, slightly cheaper. Okay. Yeah. So, what in terms of cost-wise, what has cost you to do the both the cabinets and the countertops so far? <laughs> a lot of money. Yes, a lot of money. So before we did it right because i'm also into this industry and yeah. doing it for a lot of people we went to a lot of merchant places like some of the big big names you know yeah Kadeko, Kitia, and stuff like that to get quotes for this kitchen and the quotes were ranging from 100 to 300 000 Whoa. ghana cities just for the wood and the the top countertop right? the counter without the appliances without the appliances wow so i also got some of the local guys because i feel that if i employ somebody who is a local person at least i'm also helping to create yeah, jobs and yeah. all that so we got some of them to also come and give us a quote it was running from sixty thousand, etc but there's a guy we worked with rex he's really really good his finishing is good you can see the quality yeah, yeah, yeah. it's amazing yeah. and he this cost us about forty thousand cities wow without appliances without appliances okay so it means how much are you anticipating to spend when you include appliances it depends i, I, can't, <laughs> I can't mention it but you you already know i want to do an induction cooker yeah. it's not cheap yeah that's true. induction cookers are not cheap right right the electric um, electric stoves are not cheap yeah right all the things that we'll do are not cheap the microwave the fridge it's not cheap so maybe a hundred thousand okay for the kitchen okay what is this space? Is it for fridge? Yes, that's where the fridge, fridge is going be. to go. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is the fridge space. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you notice that there isn't like a room for dedicated as a storeroom. Yeah. yeah and yeah. so that's why we Create spent a lot of money on you know these storage space. Yeah, yeah, storage spaces. So even at the back there, there's one at the top, yeah. so that you you can keep all your things, your utensils. Yeah your gadgets and everything that you need for the kitchen in here your blenders and all okay. over here wow so there's a lot of storage space within okay. the setup yeah and the tiles also is it again the tiles is the same one we used in the hall oh, the wooden okay. effect so you can see a lot of money went into even the corridor we're yeah. on is the wooden effect like tiles, tiles. not oh. the normal polished tiles so these ones are like two to three times more expensive yeah. than the spanish italian polished tiles but what, what type of tiles are these aside it being within effect like what country is it from oh these are spanish tiles these are spanish anyway. yeah oh okay okay wow okay so maybe we can move to a different space and see what's there okay
So you said there's a bedroom here. Yeah, there's a bedroom here. The bedrooms are all the same, right? Oh, so, so maybe you can have a look at one. All right, so they are like two points. 2.5 by 2.5 meters. meters. Okay. Yeah. And each bedroom has a fan, fan. and then the and LED light. lighting. Then okay. every bedroom has a toilet, a shower, okay. and then a basin space. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. So every bedroom is in suite. Okay. That's, that's nice. There are lots of switches for everything. Yeah. And the air conditions are going to be in every room. room. So you can see we have already made the provision. provision. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so maybe I think uh, that'll be just about it for this space. Unless there's something you haven't touched that you want to touch on. Is there anything you want to touch on from here? Yeah, so um, there are some gadgets here okay. in the kitchen that you see, right? Yeah. So we have the control panels for the electric fence over here. Okay. Yeah, so That's you know the electric fence and how it works. And then the control panel for the ball hole. For the ball hole. Oh, in okay. the kitchen as well. How much did it cost you to drill the borehole? Especially around this location. On a very hard, rocky area. <laughs> yeah. Close to 20,000 Ghana cities. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. And then the electric fence also? The electric fence was 13,000 cities. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. What about the gates? How much did it cost you? <laughs> The gate cost me an arm and a leg, eh? <laughs> yes, uh, especially the, you can feel it's heavy, right? Yeah, when you yeah, came and yeah, you were pushing it. Yeah. It's very heavy, the plate is very thick. Yeah. And the design that I wanted, the design corresponds with the design On the of the pavement. Pier, so yeah. I wanted that consistency from the gate inside. Okay. So that gate also cost me 13,000 CDs. And that's because I have a good relationship with, with, the, the, with, the, with the, the fabricator. fabricator okay. yeah. Wow. Uh, so it probably cost maybe 15,000 or more. And okay. that was even a year ago, you know, in Ghana, the prices of building materials keep keeps changing. Yeah, that's yeah. true. What space is that? So this was another creative idea, right? Okay. So because we did a staircase outside, yeah. we just didn't want to leave the space open. So we created like a storage, storage. area for oh. your wheelbarrows and okay. other things, right? Oh, so okay. the towels, excess towels, things like that, that you don't want to keep inside. You can keep it here under lock and key. Okay. With nice ventilation yeah. as well. And then it also provides like a support structure for, for the, the staircase. Stairs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we can look at the stairs that leads up. Okay. How much did the solar system cost you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you remember of it? I think you, you would be able to help me. <laughs> oh, I, I, total. I honestly can't recall it. Yeah, but I think at that time, because we did the. Uh, Purchasing over, I think, two years. Right? Yeah, we purchased yeah. the panels, purchased yeah. the battery, battery, the yeah, inverter, inverter over the span of two years, yeah. and then the accessories and all that. I think we spent close to fifty thousand CDs on that. Okay. Yeah. I see. So this is where you have your water storage tank. Yeah. So this, the water storage area, will add another tank okay. in future for to ensure that we never run out of water. water. Though we even have the borehole, but at least. Okay. At oh. any point in time, there will be two story tanks which are full. Oh, okay. So the borehole, have you? Did you conduct any tests on it to see whether it contains some kind of um, nutrients or, um, yeah? Yeah. So initially, when it was done, we did a salt test. There wasn't any salt. Salt in content. It. Okay. Yeah, but they said there are small traces of iron in it. Okay. Does it require any treatment? Yeah, you can treat it, but the level is not harmful. Okay. That's okay. a good thing. The okay. level of iron in it is not harmful. harmful. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, also, with the fence wall, I see you've done a fence wall around the property. How, how easy was it, considering it was being done on uh, uh, a, a rocky area and also in a slope? Yeah, it's, everything about this house is expensive. <laughs> True, especially when you're building on a hill. So yeah. I've started creating like this content series on building on a hill, hill versus on a plane surface because building on a hill or a slope is super expensive yeah you notice that even the wall has to go like in stepwise right that's one and then two it also means that the electric fence also has to, to be stepwise so you pattern. use double the materials oh. for the electric fence yeah and so building the wall is expensive doing the retaining wall oh. retaining wall is expensive I didn't recall my friend is saying. Coping. Yes, the coping. <laughs> it's expensive, right? So 
everything about it is expensive. And you notice that I've tried to like change the the landscape a bit. Yeah. Right. So yeah. if you look at the right hand side, there yeah. are, there's an inner wall yeah. and then there's the outer, outer wall. Yeah. Right. Because it was just full of jagged rocks. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was I created the inner wall and used sand to fill it so that that can also become like a bit of a garden or a flower bed okay so that you don't see all these jagged rocks, rocks and things yeah, like that yeah right and it, it helps to keep if you have kids it keeps them safe yeah yeah right so there are walls within the house yeah and then walls <laughs> for the outside of the house so there's wow. this uh, retaining wall, wall also because like i said you couldn't drive here yeah it was so steep full of rocks so and when we we brought the back over to do the excavation a day was 2500 wow and the nature of the rocks meant he had to do it for at least a week wow so even just excavating the rocks and the sand and cutting it for us to be able to stand where we are standing today wow. was like 12500 and even then you still see that there's a slight so, yeah you know um Slope. What's the English? Yes, there's a slight slope. Yeah. Right? Because we couldn't continue. It means we'll have to do like three money. weeks, yeah. four weeks for it yeah. to be very level. Yeah. And so we pushed all the materials to the back and then created the retaining walls. Okay. Yeah. Then we did the compound works to prevent the erosion. Yeah. yeah. What kind of wall lights do you have here? This one. Okay. So these are normal decorative wall lights. At night, it's really beautiful. I'll send you the night video Photos, for okay. you to okay. show in the video. So we have different sized ones. Again, the, this is the main area. So these ones are bigger and brighter. Yeah. Then when you are moving to the back, we use the smaller ones, okay. right? Because it doesn't need a lot of illumination. But then yeah. when you are moving and you are so parking and everything, yeah. it guides you all the way from here to here because it's also a car parking space. Okay. So when you are moving in at night, you are not confused about yeah. where am I going to park and all that. Okay. Also, um, with the roofing, are you harvesting the rainwater or is this going? No, I'm not harvesting the rainwater, rainwater, but I'm channeling it, right? Okay. I created channels, okay. right? So that when you are passing, it doesn't rain on you and all that, yeah. right? So right. some people leave their rain gutters open. But I decided to create the Channel rain gutters to the ground and then it comes into the galleys or yeah. you know the gutters that and have been created and then it goes down okay naturally so that's the intention oh, okay yeah okay maybe now we can have a look at okay. the top floor before we go in there what, what kind of towels do you have here on the stairs again these are spanish towels okay even for the outside right with coping done beautifully yeah so it's left with a skirting that'll of the done. towels that will be done it's because the banisters were still being done. done okay so once it's painted and all we'll come and do the skirting okay yeah okay and so i must say i like this yeah, yeah. what what is it can you tell us a bit so about this is a metal screen okay and it's been sprayed to look like wood mm. right so that it gives that unique you know aesthetic yeah like i said i don't want my house to be like everybody's <laughs> house on the block so instead of doing normal balconies yeah this gives you a certain level of privacy so when right. you are standing your seat set here yeah nobody outside can see, see but you can see everybody you can yeah. still see even the view and all that yeah that's true you understand so when it gives shade it gives privacy it right. gives it a very unique design beautiful aesthetic and it's just it's just beautiful okay who, who came up with this idea i came up with this idea myself oh okay yes so i went online looked for like some i i, I had an I idea in mind okay but i didn't know how to achieve it the idea right so i went online looked for different types of balcony setups especially for like wooden types okay. metal types and then when i saw something and sometimes I'll be driving in town and then I'll see something that looks like it. What you want, so okay. I'll take my fabricator to town <laughs> and say, have you seen this one? And I'll take the pictures that I've seen online wow. and say, I want it this way. So we just draw this. I want it to be complete covering. Okay. And this thing is super expensive. So how much was it? Close to 25,000 seats. Wow. Fuck. Yes. Because the, this is very metal, thick. You, yeah. you, you've done yeah, metal yeah, 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 yeah. right? It's very thick. Yeah. In fact, when we were bringing it up, I'll send you the video. It was so heavy. Wow. Yes, yeah, it's, it's thick and heavy. So again, it's for the durability. Yeah. 
is going to last forever. And yeah. I didn't want wood because of rain and everything. Wood with time would yeah. you know, degrade and all. So all right. I decided to do the metal and it's on both sides. Okay. So yeah, very, yep. very expensive. What about the lights we have in here? Again, designer lights for <laughs> <laughs> the balcony area so that if you are here at night, it's really, really nice. So we have tied it so that the dust and things when we move in everything is going to be fresh and new all right so now let's take a look inside so this is the top floor the famous top floor so what size of space do you have here so it's the same space as the ground floor okay right so it's sitting on like a it's sitting on like 70 by 50. oh right? okay yeah and this is the living area for the top okay and at least like I said, if you want to have a separate ground and top, when they come, they have a living area. Okay. They also have a small size, but at least spacious kitchen space. Oh, okay. So this is a kitchen. Yes. This can be a kitchen for the people at the top. Okay. Right. But because I haven't decided yet, again, look at the lighting over here. Can you tell the LED lights? So, uh -huh, good. Okay. Okay. So you can see that lighting is a big part yeah. of the building project. Right. Lighting. If I tell you how much we spent on lighting, you didn't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Cost an arm, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. An arm and a leg. <laughs> okay. So also the tiles. Yes, again, the wooden effect tiles throughout. Okay. Right. The living spaces. Yeah. Okay. So from here, wh which... Uh, section. From here, there's one room okay. that can qualify as a bedroom. Bedroom, okay. Again, you notice lights are yeah very wild in this space. Wow. Yeah. So, for me, if I was moving here without selling the house, I'll use uh, my studio space. Okay. For my because videos and things. Yeah. So that's why I purchased these type of lights. lights There'll be okay. beautiful wall hangings over here. Okay. Right. I mean decorations. Yeah. And when the spotlight hits it, it will be really beautiful right. for a studio space. Okay. But again, it's in suite, so yeah. there's the washroom. Washrooms. Okay. A, a big sized washroom, right? Yeah. And then a toilet space as well and then a basin. Okay. So when do you intend to bring the entire building to a completion? And in, in just about two weeks. We'll two weeks? Done. Yeah. Wow. So this is another bedroom? Yeah, this is another bedroom. Okay. It's a bit smaller so the kids can Have sleep this room. here. Yeah. Okay. Or you can use it as yeah, that's a visitor's room for the top people as well. Okay. And again... Another washroom. Yeah, another washroom. Okay. All the rooms have their fans. We have our decorative lighting. Okay. Yeah. And you can see the doors are also really, yeah, really yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. Once we finish and then we paint, then remove all the small, small touches of the white, white paint. Right. It's going to be just amazing. And then this would serve as a master bedroom. bedroom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Again, all the rooms have ACs, all the rooms have fans. You can see the window space is really big. Yeah really good ventilation really good lighting and then it has a huge washroom yeah. yeah washroom space can do a lot of good things in this washroom space <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. see it has provision for uh, water, water heater, heater okay that's yeah wow. provision for a water heater okay. once we finish the fittings it will just be amazing right again the fittings that we are purchasing are top 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 not top sure. expensive this outlet here is going to be for the CCTV. So we've done all the wiring for the CCTV. So the control okay. TV for the CCTV is going to be here. So that's what you are seeing over here. Okay. So there are four CCTVs on Congress. the property. Oh, okay. It's already installed? The wiring has been done. So it's just when we are ready to move in, we'll come Sorry and put some. Yeah. Okay. What is the idea with painting the space with white? Well, I feel white helps to, you know, make the lighting extra nice. Okay. Right. Yeah. And like I said, for me, I'm a content creator. And sure. so I feel some of these things, these spaces, even if your light is not enough, it's able to bounce off and makes the room well lit. Yeah. You know, so the lights are all not on, but at least you are able to film this video. Right, well, right. As opposed to if it was gray or dark colors, etc. Right. White is neutral. 
if somebody purchases the house and they want to paint Same. it any other color yeah that's fine but we'll be doing a lot of cladding as well so there'll okay. be wood wood cladding in okay. the living spaces okay and all i see so how much also did it cost for the painting um so the painting if you're looking at it from the inside painting yeah that cost about twenty two thousand cities okay yeah for the paints alone cross down and top then the graffiato paint was about twenty five thousand that's for the external yeah for the external oh i see wow okay africa build they have we've had a look at uh a lot of things i think you, we've not spoken about the security doors yes so yeah security is also paramount to me like you can see i've done a lot of investment into security fence burglar proofs and so security doors like the next element right? right it gives you kind of additional layers because instead of the single lock yeah it has like three or four locks okay right and this is the one and a half sized security door so there are three security doors in the property which makes it very difficult for people to break in this is an anti-rust type of security door okay as well okay yeah all right i think uh that's 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 pretty much it but so yes now let's talk about the challenges what were some of the challenges building a place like this um number one i think would have to be the nature of the soil, soil. itself right okay. because it's very rocky like i mentioned the slope and clearing it to have a good area enough to be able to build on and live on that's the major challenge and then also the nature of the roads leading to the side right because it's still a bit of a developing area yeah. but a good thing is that the neighbors are all people building from the diaspora okay so you can see the quality and caliber of houses yeah. huge houses yeah and so when the houses are complete and they move in i believe we'll get really good amazing roads and stuff so those are the two challenges the transportation of materials when people are coming and they see the rocky <laughs> nature of the roads they charge extra right? they charge extra <laughs> right so total transportation costs for tiles building materials I can say it's not less than thirty to fifty thousand wow. on transportation alone. Wow. wow. You understand? Yeah. So that's the very nature of the land makes everything expensive. More expensive than somebody who is building on a and normal flat level land. Around, yeah. But then the end product is also amazing in that you get really beautiful views, you get sure. a lot of good aeration. You don't need to be using a lot of AC on all the time. Ghana is very hot now. Right. Right. So right. if you get good um, ventilation and airflow, yeah. I think it's good. Sure. So my very last question, if you were to do this again, buy an uncompleted house on a slope rocky area, would you, would you have done it again? Or you, you would have done something different? Well, I, d I don't really have any regrets. Okay. Right? It's expensive, yeah. but it's a learning experience as okay. well, right? And um, through the things I've learned, I've been able to advise people, right? Because I've done building from scratch, and then I've also purchased an uncompleted building. Yeah. So uh, it gives me that, you know, it puts me in a position to be able to advise on different, different things. Right. 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 So that I can tell people who are now building from scratch some of the things to avoid and people who are building uncompleted buildings or people who are purchasing uncompleted buildings, what to look out for. Sure. And you understand? So I feel that it's good. Obviously, if you are building from scratch, I'll be able to make some of the rooms bigger. Yeah. I'll yeah. be able to build it to my own taste. Yeah. Right? Because like I said, I don't like corridors and things. They are just a waste of space. So right. if I was doing everything from scratch, some of the things that I would, you know, start or I'll do differently. I'll probably do the borehole first. Okay. Because coming you you have to purchase a lot of water yeah. throughout the building project when they are coming here it's two times what when they are going cost. anywhere else yeah and if i had done the borehole over the two or three years it took to complete i'm sure the but money i was using to purchase this water. would have done the borehole right and two or three years ago the borehole was like seven thousand yeah now it's at twenty thousand <laughs> next year it will be thirty thousand <laughs> so one advice i'll give people is when you're starting your building project start a borehole first okay all right, um, Africa Building Hub, thank you very much uh, <laughs> for taking the time to take us through it's, your building. It's, it's my pleasure. Once you are done, you have the grass and everything, we will eventually also come by and then have a look at all that too. Thank you very much thank again. Thank you so much for having me on your channel. My regards to all your Asian and African <laughs> village <laughs> audience. All right. Yeah, I know we lost touch, but I'm still here.
We were young, we were kids, it was something rare I told you everything But when it all burned down and you were left with nothing Did you question God or did you say 